On the northwest corner of North America, in the western United States, is the state of Alaska. It shares a maritime boundary with the Chukaka Autonomous Okrug of the Russian Federation to the west, just across the Bering Strait, and borders the Canadian province of British Columbia and the Yukon Territory to the east. The Chukchi and Beaufort Seas of the Arctic Ocean are to the north, and the Pacific Ocean can be found to the south and southwest. Alaska is by far the largest state in terms of area in the United States, with a total area larger than the combined areas of the next three largest states, Texas, California, and Montana. The seventh largest subnational division in the world is represented by it. With a population of 736,081 as of 2020, it is the continent's most populous territory and the third least populous state overall. This population is more than triple the combined populations of northern Canada and Greenland and is largely concentrated north of the 60th parallel. The Anchorage metro area is home to around half of Alaska's population. The area of Juneau, the state capital, is larger than the states of Rhode Island and Delaware, making it the second largest city in the country. The largest American city by area is Sitka, the former capital of Alaska. The state is surrounded by Canada's Yukon and British Columbia to the east, the Gulf of Alaska and the Pacific Ocean to the south and southwest, the Bering Sea, Bering Strait, and Chukchi Sea to the west, and the Arctic Ocean to the north. This makes Alaska the only state to only border a Canadian territory. Due to the close proximity of Russian Big Diomede Island and Alaskan Little Diomede Island in the Bering Strait, Alaska's territorial waters border those of Russia. Alaska's coastline is longer than the total length of all the other U.S. states. Containing Anchorage, the Matanuska Susitna Valley, and the Kenai Peninsula is the most populous area of Alaska. The Prince William Sound region, the towns of Cordova and Valdez, and rural, largely unpopulated areas south of the Alaska Range and west of the Wrangell Mountains are also included in the concept of South Central. This area of Alaska is closest to the neighboring states and is also known as the Panhandle or the Inside Passage. As a result, in the years after the Alaska Purchase, this was the area that saw the majority of the earliest non-indigenous settlement. The Tongass National Forest, the biggest national forest in the U.S., and the Alexander Archipelago are the two main natural features of the area. It includes Ketchikan, which used to be Alaska's largest city, as well as the state capital Juneau and the former capital Sitka. Only three communities, Haines, Hyder, and Skagway, enjoy direct access to the contiguous North American road system, making the Alaska Marine Highway an essential surface transportation link throughout the region and the nation. Alaska's largest region is its interior, which contains a sizable portion of wilderness. The only significant city in the area is Fairbanks. This is where Denali National Park and Preserve is. This area also has Denali, previously Mount McKinley, which is the tallest mountain in North America. Southwest Alaska is an area with a low population density that stretches about 800 kilometers, 500 miles, inland from the Bering Sea. The majority of people reside near the coast. Southwest is also where Kodiak Island is situated. Here is the enormous yukon kuskokwim Delta, one of the biggest river deltas on Earth. Southwest includes some of the Alaska Peninsula, while the Aleutian Islands contain the remaining areas. This chain of islands, which extends more than 1,200 miles 1, kilometers, into the Pacific Ocean, is made up of more than 300 small volcanic islands. The international dateline was drawn west of 180 degrees despite the fact that some of these islands are in the eastern hemisphere to maintain the entire state and by extension the entire North American continent within the same legal day. During World War II, Japanese forces captured the islands of Attu and Kiska. Despite being physically cut off from the rest of the United States, Alaska is one of the most picturesque and fascinating regions of the nation. Its isolation only enhances the state's beauty and mystique, luring adventurers and nature lovers to the 49th state as well as its major cities like Anchorage. 
Here are some of the top locations to visit in Alaska. It's vital to get out and see the natural beauty and attractions that make Alaska so popular. Wrangell National Park of St. Elias combining convenient access with the breathtaking Alaskan scenery, the Wrangell St. Elias National Park offers a variety of surreal encounters. It boasts an incredible concentration of the country's highest peaks dispersed across a national park the size of Connecticut. Unlike Glacier Bay, which is connected to the National Park to form a larger UNESCO World Heritage Site, it is simpler to explore the National Park's enormous glaciers and easy to enjoy a variety of adventures, including ice climbing. Anchorage Set in a breathtaking location in the state's south-central region, Anchorage is surrounded by towering mountains and incredible wilderness. It is protected from the glittering Gulf of Alaska by the Kenai Peninsula and is located at the end of a picturesque inlet, close to numerous gorgeous lakes and glistening glaciers. However, most people use it as a starting point to travel further into the state's wild and remote regions. Over a third of Alaska's population calls Anchorage home, making it a major transportation hub as well as a thriving cultural and economic center. As a result, there are many activities to do there. Ketchikan Alaska's southernmost city at the base of Deer Mountain, in a picturesque location, Ketchikan is home to a variety of activities and is popular with cruise ships traveling north along the coast. The most picturesque part of the downtown is Creek Street, which is close to the cruise ship ports. Once a boisterous red light area, Creek Street is now home to a gentler class of businesses while maintaining its endearing historic appeal. National Park near Glacier Bay Shell the hiking boots at Glacier Bay National Park with all the best views seen from the water you won't have to work up a sweat to appreciate the elaborate beauty of your surroundings thanks to the numerous cruises you'll have plenty of opportunities to explore the most well-known park in the state from your spot on the boat. Watch out for orcas and whales, as well as the massive glaciers that frame each picture. If you're lucky, you might be able to kayak to get a closer look. Homer Homer, which is on the Kenai Peninsula and is known as the fishing capital of Alaska, should definitely be on your itinerary if you're interested in exploring nature or going fishing. It also serves as a gateway to several national parks. While you're there, you can take a walk along the beach to the famous Homer's Fit, drive up Skyline Drive for breathtaking views, or go wildlife spotting in Kokemic Bay State Park, where you can see mountain goats and bald EA Skagway. When Skagway was founded in 1887, it was a small town, but the Klondike Gold Rush changed it forever. Prospectors flocked to the area, and the rest, as they say, is history. You can learn all about it at the Klondike Gold Rush National Historic Park. Skagway's former glory is visible not only in the buildings in its historic center that are built in a Wild West-style architecture, but also when you take the breathtaking train right along the White Pass and you glacier at Mendel Hall. The enormous Mendel Hall Glacier, which is calving into its own adjacent lake, is only a short drive from the city of Juneau. There are many different ways to experience the glacier, from a simple shuttle ride to see it up close to a helicopter ride to truly appreciate the size of the glacier. The fittest visitors might want to try out the Mendel Hall Glacier West Glacier Trail, which is extremely difficult but offers incredible opportunities. Fjords of Kenai National Park it's like traveling back in time to the Ice Age when you visit the Kenai Fjords National Park, where glaciers and ice caps still remain and touch the ocean's edge, generating breathtaking landscapes. The deep fjords that have developed where the water valleys have resulted from the park's half-year-round ice cover are the perfect habitat for a variety of aquatic wildlife, and you can readily witness migratory whales as well as birds swooping down to feast on the fish in the water. National Park Katmai Located in the western part of Alaska, the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, a massive ash flow left over from the 1912 eruption of the Novarupta volcano, is located in the heart of Katmai National Park, a picturesque retreat close to both Homer and Kodiak Island. Katmai National Park offers amazing opportunities to get up close and personal with the local wildlife, in particular you can spot brown bears that eat the local salmon. 
Due to the quantity of salmon and rainbow trout, fishing is another well-liked activity. National Park of Denali, the enormous area of land that comprises Alaska's most well-known national park, is Denali National Park. Denali, originally known as Mount McKinley, is by far the most impressive feature. At 6,190 meters above sea level, it is the tallest mountain in North America, and its snowy summit certainly is a sight to behold. The icy boreal forests, if you're looking for pure wilderness, this might be it. Caribou, moose, grizzly bears, and wolves all call the barren tundra, craggy mountains, and lakes home. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy the don't forget to like and subscribe.